Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for this video. Today, I am starting a week of workouts, so you guys are gonna see exactly what my workouts are every single day of this week. So I have recently changed my split from four days a week to five days a week, so now you guys will see exactly what I'm doing every week. Before we get started, make sure you follow me on Instagram at bailey.cedo.fit, and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so starting off today is Monday and it is about 4.30 right now. We, Tony and I, he's just not in the video, <laughs> we're at the gym right now and we're doing an upper body push workout. So we're going to focus on shoulders and chest. Uh, usually I would have just done shoulders, chest and triceps all together, but I've decided to switch my split to make a separate day solely for biceps and triceps. So today I'm just gonna focus on shoulders and chest. Before we begin this workout, I just want to preface this by saying one of my new goals coming out of my bulk and starting to lean out a bit is getting my 10K steps a day. So as of right now, I have about 7,000 steps and that's just from running errands. After my workout today, I will probably be on the treadmill just for a little bit, try to get my 10K steps a day. And that is just one of my goals right now. So I'm not doing any intense cardio during the week. I don't have like a cardio specific day as of right now. I am just doing a weightlifting routine plus 10K steps every single day. y'all i am about to head to the gym we're doing glutes and hamstrings today and i just finished my pre-workout snack so i just want to show you guys really quickly what i'm wearing today i'm wearing all gymshark per usual so this is the gymshark x whitney simmons long sleeve crop top and these are the studio leggings and these are some of my favorite leggings ever i know that they have some in stock right now so go get them if you don't have them already let's go get glutes and hamstrings done what's up it is now Wednesday it is almost two o'clock in the afternoon and I am just eating some peanut butter crackers because I'm about to go to the gym to hit back my glutes are so sore from yesterday I woke up this morning and could not move my legs I mean my legs are fine but my glutes are on fire today so go back and do that workout if you skipped through it because <laughs> that was a really really good workout and Yesterday, on my um, leg press, I hit a new PR. I did four sets of 10 at 270 pounds. I put three plates on each side, and I did that. So that was exciting. And that's the main reason why my butt hurt so bad. And today, I am taking my Alana New Pump as my pre-workout. This is the flavor Arctic White. And um, I've just found that with the Ideal Fit pre-workout I cannot dry scoop that stuff to save my life because <laughs> it's just way too sour so I'm dry scooping this cheers
if y'all can see them, but there's two girls. They're probably like 12-ish. And they're doing little TikTok dances in the, <laughs> in the neighborhood. It's so cute. I just wanted to come on here really quick and tell you guys that I just got home from the gym. That workout was so difficult for me. My arms are dead. But at the end of it, I did 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. I did, I mean, all Stairmaster levels are different, but I did um, eight minutes on level six, I believe, and then two minutes at the end on level eight. I was like wearing a mask and I was having to like, pull it out from my nose because I kept inhaling the mask itself and I was like suffocating. <laughs> it's like really, really hard to try to do cardio at the gym right now with a mask on. That's another thing I'm trying to implement a little bit more, maybe like once or twice a week, um, just to lean out again after this bulk, um, is just do like a couple Stairmaster sessions, like one to three times a week so now i'm about to go on like a 30 minute walk just to help get my 10k steps in a day and then that is all i'm doing and i actually today is my first day of classes for spring semester which is unfortunate but i have class from 5 30 to 9 30 four days a week starting now so i'm gonna start implementing like waking up earlier in the day and getting my walk done so that way i don't have to worry about getting my steps in later in the day i'll see you tomorrow Hello, what is up? Oh my gosh, okay. It is Thursday and it is 10 p.m. So I forgot that I was doing this today because it's my rest day. But I was so dang busy today. Oh my God, oh, my ears always hurt after I wear a hat at the gym because it's like, oh, I have my hat and then my headphones and then my mask and my ears are like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I had a really busy day today and so that consisted of waking up at around 6 a.m taking my dog to go to the groomers to get his hair cut he looks much better if anyone was worried about his dreadlocks that he basically had um and then i went to my physical therapy appointment and then i had to come home do some client check-ins ran a bunch of errands got my nails done with my mom which you cannot even see them and then i wasn't planning to work out today i am so dang sore from my back workout yesterday and my glutes are still sore from the other day. My body is just so sore this week. I don't know what is happening. I need to go take my BCAAs, which I haven't been taking, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be my rest day today. I was like, my body needs a break, but I still wanted to get my steps in because that is just my new goal. I've already said it a million times. So at like 8.30, I felt super tired and my eyes were really heavy, but I knew that I wasn't actually tired. I was just like, in zen mode from staring at my screen all night and just like sitting on the couch all night so i was like you know what i haven't even moved all day really i haven't gotten any steps in i had like 2,000 steps for the whole day i was like instead of sitting here on my phone for the rest of the night and just watching netflix or something because i know i'm not going to go to sleep at 8 30 at night i was like i'm just going to go to the gym really quick and walk until they close because they close at 10 p.m so i did that it's days like this where you have to find like the discipline to get yourself to go do things like get your steps in like something that's so small that actually makes a huge difference in the long run is just like getting up and moving and getting your steps in some days because some days your body truly does just need a break you need to do absolutely nothing for the day to give yourself that time to break which I totally respect and I totally think everyone should listen to their body but it's also hard to explain but like you need to learn to like find the balance between disciplining yourself to just get it done and giving your body rest when it really, really needs it. Cause like right now, yeah, I'm sore, but I would have literally just sat on the couch and watched Netflix all night. And I don't truly need a rest right now. Like I feel good and I'm so much happier that I walk. That's all I have for today. Tomorrow we'll be back with another workout. What is up y'all? It is now Friday and it is about 2 p.m. right now. I'm about to go hit the gym and do a quad session. I'm so pumped for it right now. I um, actually got up relatively early this morning at around 7.30 and went on a walk. So I went on like a 45-ish minute walk just to get some steps in and um, I did that before a bunch of client calls and check-ins and sales calls for my clients and potential clients. So that was fun. And I've just kind of been hanging out, uh, doing some other random things around the house. If you have been following my 
journey on Instagram to find the perfect pair of shoes for training and for like cardio stuff. I am here today. I actually took off my shoe so I could show you guys. <laughs> I got Nike Metcons 6, sixes, however you want to say that. I have been wanting to bite the bullet to get these for so long, but they're like $130, but someone informed me that if you buy them off of dicksportinggoods.com and you sign up for text alerts, you can get $20 off. So they were like $110, which isn't too too bad. I mean, it's still expensive, but it's better than $130. So these are actually the men's version of the shoes, and I mean, I think they're a unisex shoe. I got a women's nine and a half. I believe, yeah. I'm just so excited for this gym session today. I'm just like, especially since yesterday was my rest day, I'm like feeling extra pumped and motivated today. Saturday, finally the end of the week. I am on my way to the gym right now. It's about 4 p.m. and I am just going to hit my buys and tries workout. So previously in my bulk, I was only working out four days a week and I had three rest days and they were like full rest days. I wasn't um, walking those days or unless I really wanted to, but I didn't have a step goal. As of right now, um, like in the past couple weeks, I've just added in a fifth day, like dedicated to biceps and triceps. And then after that, I'm either going to go on the treadmill or the Stairmaster just for a little bit. Let's go do this biceps and triceps workout. workouts I just finished my biceps and triceps workout and I finished on the Stairmaster for 20 minutes exactly and I went like back and forth between level six and seven I know all Stairmasters are different but I figured someone will probably ask me that so that is it Sunday is tomorrow and that is my rest day I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and go follow me on instagram at bailey.cedo.fit if you are not already I have a lot of workouts and fitness tips and motivation and everything on my instagram and I post way more frequently over there I will talk to you guys later bye